Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at an infinite square root. It's the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1, we're doing that infinitely many times. Okay, so, pause the video and try it for yourself, I'm going to reveal the answer in a moment. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Let's call this x. We like to introduce algebra. Um, we see that x is very symmetrical, as I say, we're doing the same thing multiple, multiple times. So, I'm just going to rewrite this outer layer in a different colour. I'm going to rewrite it in blue. Okay, and now what do we see? We see this inside section looks exactly the same as the entire thing. The inside section looks the same as the entire thing. The entire thing is x, so what can we write? It's 10 into algebra. We have the square root of 1 plus this is the same as x. So I can write this as x, and this is still equal to x itself. This is a nice equation. We can square both sides. We get 1 plus x is equal to x squared. Then just minus things from both sides. And how do we solve this quadratic? Well, we apply the quadratic formula, if you remember that. Look it up. It is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 1, minus 1 squared is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 1, which makes this 1 plus 4. And this is all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So these are our two possible answers. So we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. The square root of 5 is bigger than 1, so 1 minus the square root of 5 is going to be negative. But this, well this is clearly not negative, we have the square root of positive things, and the, the square root is defined to be positive anyway. So we're going to have one possible solution for our x. x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, which is also known as the golden ratio. I think it's approximately 1.6 or something. It appears in nature all the time. It's a very, very powerful and beautiful number. Okay, so. This is pretty awesome explaining the symmetries in the problem, but let me tell you, things go wrong. Things go very, very, very wrong. Let's take a look at an example. What do I mean? So let's take a look at another problem. And um, let's say we have 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus dot dot dot. We just double each time, we're just adding these together. Well, let me just say that this is equal to, ah, I'll use a different letter. Let's say, I'll say this is equal to y. Okay, well, then let's just double y. Let's just double y. So double y, we just double each term, so we get 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus dot 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 infinitely, and it carries on forever. And let's do our favourite thing, let's add one at the start. And what do we see? We see that this is the same thing as this, which I define to be... Wow, that was too handy right there. Okay, so let's write that in algebra as always. So we have y. Okay, and then we doubled it, and then we added 1 at the start, and we said that this was equal to y itself. So that's an equation we can work with, if we minus y from both sides, we get y equals minus 1. This is equal to minus 1. Okay, so what's happening? Was this a valid method in the first place? So in fact, the answer is yes and no. In this case, it did work. This is in fact equal to the golden ratio, but this is sadly not equal to minus 1. If you're curious as to when you can exploit symmetry and when you can you know, when you can, um, you, when things have a limit, then please check out my next video, which will be coming up in approximately one or two weeks, I think. Like and subscribe, comment, leave any suggestions. Have a nice day. Thank you very, very much.